Hey guys, if you don't own this game yet but want to win it, simply like this video and leave a comment down below. Winners will be picked and announced this weekend, so good luck everybody. So I have posted already a couple of great XP farms to power through those levels of 1 to 50, but today guys, I bring you the best yet. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoy your stay here and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. And if you do want to see more, make sure you subscribe. So this farm for that XP works amazingly and once you have the mission unlocked you can switch to any of your other low leveled Avengers, bring them into this place and rank up that XP faster than any other method I have seen so far. So to do this you need to unlock the Hive Mission Chain, the one you can see on screen now. What this is is a mission chain like I said with a total of five, 4 or 5 in total but each mission you can repeat and each mission is basically 5 rooms plus of constant enemies with no loading times where you can rack in that XP super super quick. Now to unlock the hive mission it's quite straightforward but there's a few things you have to do first. It's probably about an hour's worth of gameplay needed to do this but it's definitely worth this because once you get these unlocked like I said they are there to stay. Now if you've been playing on multiplayer for a day or so maybe more and you don't have this unlocked already you've probably no doubt already completed some of the steps to get this hive mission chain. So to unlock this hive mission chain you have to complete step one of the reigning supreme mission chain. And as you can see on screen now, to complete this step here, there are a few things you need to do. So firstly, complete the Shield Protocols Faction Mission Chain, which is this one right here. This consists of four missions which are straightforward to complete and shouldn't take you long at all. These missions are all located within the Pacific Northwest. It does make sense though that before you do this mission chain that you go and grab those assignments from Alessandre Morales aboard their helicarrier. Because as you can see, you need to earn faction XP by completing 1500, well it says 1500 is actually XP earned from shield assignment. So like I said, go and grab those bounties. The next step on this is to complete the vault onboarding mission, which you should also see unless you've already done this. It's a pretty straightforward two step mission chain, which will see yourself doing a vault at the end of it. The next step here is the global offensive mission chain, which is also literally straightforward. Step one, you have to speak with a few NPCs and vendors on the helicarrier, and I actually did this by accident, as well as earning a minimum 200 XP within that shield faction. So any assignment completed should get this part done. Step two within this mission chain, you have to do the same upon Ant Hill within the Utah Badlands, which again is pretty straightforward. Just make sure you grab those assignments from Sarah Garza while you're here, because as you can see, you need to earn 200 XP within that Inhuman Alliance faction. Then within step three, you need to complete four war zones, one within Pacific Northwest, one within the Utah Badlands, one within the Eastern Seaboard, and one within the Snowy Tundra. What these war zones are are literally any multiplayer mission, I do believe, like the drop zones and the threat sectors. But for me, the drop zones are so much easier to do. You may as well just do these. That's if they're available on the destinations you need to do them on. If not, you will have to do those threat sectors. You then, which you've probably already done, is have to defeat 50 enemies as well as open five strong boxes. Again, you've probably already done this without even knowing. Strong boxes are loot chests which are basically locked behind any big or small puzzle and these are literally located within every map and mission you can find. These again you've probably already done. And people that is it. Once you've done all of that you progress to step 2 on the reigning supreme mission chain. And with step 2 you unlock these hives. Now these are like I said straightforward. Once you've loaded in you progress forward and do as needed you will see yourself having to fight your way forward and then through five floors of enemies which you can earn constant XP and like I said there's no loading times so you don't have to back out and reload so there's no real wait in between you earning that XP and you can do this in my opinion at a quicker rate than anywhere else I have seen so far. Now switching to your lower level Avengers to do this all I'd recommend is that they're around that 35 power level mark. As long as they're around this point, these can be run without getting ruined by enemies. Doing this with a friend also who is a higher level helps get through them much much quicker as you can imagine. I was averaging on my lower level Avengers roughly 4 or 5 levels per hive run. 
And once I got to around that 40 level mark, it dropped to about 3 or 4 per run. So that's pretty cool, people. Once you have completed this hive mission, though, you will unlock another hive mission, which will be slightly harder. But I mean, hey, if you want to farm them too, you can. But like I said, that isn't needed. You can just farm the first one over and over. But it is completely up to you. Now, I ain't saying run this until you hit that level 50. I'm saying this will help you gain levels faster than anywhere else. And I say this because with levels, you obviously get those skill points. And upgrading your Avenger and unlocking skills makes life so much easier and fun doing other things. So yeah guys, I hope this helps out and until a better XP farm is found, use this to get those easy and fast levels. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Avengers, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Two.